Josephine County's hospitals are in crisis mode. Earlier this month, a Grants Pass surgeon warned the community. I guarantee you, you will see refrigerated trucks at the back of the ER taking the bodies out. With the recent surge in deaths in the county, we're not far behind in making Dr. Nelson's warning a reality. Between the hospital and um, all of our funeral homes available in Josephine County, we are reaching capacity. Um, with deceased bodies. Josephine County is approved to receive a refrigerated trailer sometime this week from Yamhill County. Both Josephine County Public Health and Office of Emergency Management tells us they are requesting it just in case. And this is part of our pre-planning and pre-positioning because uh, we are near a potential tipping point in terms of needing that resource and should that tipping point occur. Emily Ring is the emergency manager for Josephine County. She says while we aren't in crisis mode yet, she'd rather be safe than sorry. We certainly hope we won't exceed our current uh, ability to manage all, all decedents the way that we would on a normal blue sky day. And we hope that we don't have to utilize this trailer. This is the first time Josephine County has ever had to make this kind of request. Well. It's mostly COVID. Um, you know, I, I'm not aware of any time when our county has met capacity for caring for deceased people. And it comes at a time when the county is seeing record breaking COVID numbers. In January, we had 22 deaths related to COVID. And so far in August, we have 43 reported deaths. Um, and we're still climbing. Dr. Leona O'Keefe says one way our community can prevent the severity of COVID-19 cases is by getting the vaccine. 